yeah hi friends welcome back so in previous session we have seen how to integrate test ng with eclipse okay now we will see what is this at rate of test annotation okay why we need to use this at rate of test annotation see as a part of testing we do lot of logic to test some functionality let's say if I want to test the login functionality, we implement some logic. If I want to test the sending domain, we implement some logic. If I want to test the delete main, we implement some logic. If I want to test the logout of a main, we implement some logic, right? We do some scripting to test that particular functionality. So, what we do here is we include our logic as a test. So, we include our logic as a at the rate of test to treat that as a test or test case okay in simple way we will write a method to test some logic for that method we will just insert a thread of test annotation so that that particular method or that particular logic will be treated as a test or a test case okay now we will see in eclipse now i simply creating one class Come on, I am just going for a class and uh, I am giving the name as test case 2. I am not taking main method, we know that. Okay, this is a class. Come on, okay, now the class is loaded. So inside a class, we can add n number of test cases okay we can have 2 3 10 up to your wish okay now I'm simply writing let's say one simple uh, method let's say to verify to verify login okay so this is a method which I just uh, uh, given uh, or create to verify the login function let's say opening the browser so giving the username password clicking on the login button and cross checking or I'm logged in or not let's say that is a something like how you tested a UI or that is how we need to add a selenium script here okay for time being I'm simply giving the system dot out dot print ln okay so I'm simply saying verified verify login let's say I'm verified this cool okay so this is a uh, my logic now I added my logic inside a method now what I will do is I will add at the rate of test annotation okay so that I will treat this particular method as a test so this is a my test case now okay like that we can have multiple number of test cases inside a class okay now let's say I'm just adding one more test here public void and we thought couple of functionalities right that's a send main okay so this is a some other logic I'm just planning to implement and let's say we do some printout and verify sent my now I am just treating it as a test by giving the annotation at the rate of test okay like that we can have a couple of things now let's have one more thing so now straight away I am just giving the first annotation then I am giving the method okay public dot uh, let's say delete my so like that we can add couple of test cases inside our class clear so now let's execute this now I'm simply running my class see it is saying as test run 3 and passes 3 now first make sure that what is this test run okay test run is nothing but a executing your test your test is nothing but your at the rate of test annotated method okay so don't confuse you here you are executed only one class but it is saying as a three runs nothing but you have executed three tests here one two and three tests so that's why it is saying as a three test and all three of pass and this is your test ng output file okay and e even you can see it uh, generated report also let's say I'm just opening as a generated report as a browser see here 3 hour pass 
okay let's say how if there is a fail test till now we are keep on seeing the uh, past one right so now I, including one more test okay now public void let's say let's take the fourth test logout also okay now what I will do here I voluntarily fail this particular test okay just to see how it look likes okay in report so I'm using one concept called asset we will come into this particular concept in coming sessions what I am saying that in assert I'm just asking to equal these two words but I'm give some wrong one let's say I give log out here okay and I'm give log in here so these two are not equal right so usually then it will give you exception to us let's run this So, see here, it is saying the 3 as a pass and 1 is a failure. So, the reason for the failure here is you are expecting login but uh, you are seeing as a logout. You got logout actually. Okay. And even in the test engine console also you are saying so and so is failed. Even you can see same thing in your HTML report. See here, 1 is failed, 3 are passed. So this is a way how we can use a rate of test annotation. Clear? If you say a rate of test annotation, nothing but you are treating that particular method as a test. Okay? So you can write a number of tests inside a class. Okay? So that's all about a rate of test annotation.